This is the Grade 11 CAT practical paper, or Paper 1, or the exemplar from November 2020. Um, and it's the Department of Education for the Eastern Capes paper. So we're going to go look at the last question of this paper, which is like an integrated question, which uses all the different packages together. We are at the last question and just a little side note, normally the, the question five is a HTML question and then question six is an integrated question. Um, there's no HTML question in this database. Obviously, this is a paper that came out during the COVID pandemic and they removed HTML from the grade 11 um, curriculum but just for the grade 11 you were going to cover you're going to cover it in grade 12 so normally if you're doing a regular grade 11 curriculum you would need to do some sort of a revision on html so don't forget that but we're going to go into this question it is the integration question um it's quite tricky the way they word it so the first one is 5.1 we must export the data from the the spreadsheet wild coast resource now i've got this the 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 spreadsheet open over here and I've been trying to find a way of exporting it from here to a database. Now, I know there's a way to import it from the database, to bring it from the, when you're in the database, to bring the data from the Excel into it. Import is the, uh, it's very similar to export. It's just when you export, you, this is your destination. You're exporting it to another place. Importing is where you are at your destination and you're bringing in from another place. So let's have a look. There's nothing that I can find here of ways of exporting it to a database. I might be wrong, but it, you won't see a difference if we actually go to the database and import it from there. I think that's going to be a better option for us. So we want to export the data from sheet one, from this spreadsheet into a database called Five Resource, a new one. So I've got a database open here. I'm going to create a blank database. And then it's going to obviously say, where do you want to save it? Make sure that we select the folder of your exam file. So I'm going to go save it in there quickly now. As you can see, I've gone to my exam folder. There you can see the database from question four. And they want us to rename it as, what did they say? Five resource. So we want to call this five resource. I'm going to click five resource. And they don't specify anything else about what type of database it must be. Okay, so we are, so that's fine. Okay, so we're going to create this database called Five Resource. Okay, that's great. There we go, Five Resource in that folder, create it. And it's going to try and make a default table, which we're not going to want. I'm going to just delete, I don't want this table. No, thank you. So we've got no tables in there. So now from the access side, I'm going to go to external data and I can now come over here and import from somewhere. So we're going to import from a new source. We're going to import from a file from an excel file yes that's the excel file so we're going to click excel file and we're now going to select the file of where we want to get it from so there we go we're going to go browse for that particular file now quickly there you can see i've gone to select i'm going to open it up quickly so that's the file that we want to go and we want to import this into a new table do they say what table it must be called? Make sure all the fields. So we want to export the data into a new database. Obviously, if it's a new database, there's no field, there's no table to add to it. So that is correct. We want to make it into a new table. And then we're going to click OK and see what happens. So it'll take us through a few steps. So let's just go through it. So there we go. So we, yes, we want sheet one. That's the one that we want. So yes, that's the one we want. I'm going to click next. It says, does the first row contain headings? Yes, it does. Those are definitely the headings. So we say next. And now it wants us to make sure that each of those fields are the correct type. Now let's just double check the details, make sure all the fields are the appropriate type uh, and the move and the sort, we'll do that later. So let's go. So visitors, that would be some sort of short text. Gender would be some sort of, yeah, that's fine. Type of accommodation, short text. Peak rates would be some sort of currency. I'm happy with that. Number of days would be a double. That's another way of saying a number or integer. You could say integer if you want. Uh, deposit is also currency, and I think that's all the fields. Eh? There are no more fields after that. Uh, yeah, there we go. So that's all the fields that we've got. So there we go. So I'm going to go next. Um, do we want a primary key? They don't specify anything, so I'm going to say no to the primary key. Um, and they want to import it to, they don't actually give us a name of what must call this, do they? They say a new database. They don't say what name this table must be. So I'm going to keep it as what it is. Um, but if there is a name, then you should change it to that name. So we're going to go finish. So there we go. We're going to go save. Yes. And if everything's successful, there should be a sheet one. There we go. There is my lovely little table being exported. Technically, I've imported it, but it's the same thing. So we will get the same marks. So it's now we have 
whatever was in this uh, Excel spreadsheet is now in my database. Now the other things that we needed to do, move accommodation to the first field. So I'm going to click on accommodation type and we're going to move it to the first field. So I'll just drag it and move it there. So that's easy. So the type of accommodation must be the first field and we must sort according to type of accommodation in descending order. So I'm going to make sure that this field is always sorted in descending order. So there we go. And then we will save it. And so that's my field. So if I close it and then open it up, there you can see it's the first field and it's sorted. So there we go. Uh, that's the first bit done. Um, great. Now let's go back to the spreadsheet and let's see what the next question is. So those are the six marks. Now we must work in sheet two of the spreadsheet. So I'm going to go to sheet two. And so it's exactly the same data except for these two new things over there. And what do they want me to do? They want me to use the a function in J1 and 2 to calculate the number of males and females. And then we must create an appropriate graph. They don't tell me which one. I think it'll probably be a pie chart um, to show the percentage of each gender. Yeah, when we show percentages, that's normally a pie chart. And then the graph should have an appropriate heading. And then we're going to move it. Okay, so let's first do the first bit. We want to calculate the number of males and females. So let's come here. So number of females, how do I know if there, so there is a gender field? So we want to count how many females there are. So we're going to use a count if formula. Count if equals what range? We want to select all of the cells in this range over here. There are quite a few. There we go. In that range. And we, what are we counting? We're counting for all the times you see the word female. Remember, with a count if, the, the criteria must be in double quotes. So count from B2 to B61 for the word female. So that's how many females there are and I'll do the exact same formula again but in this time we are going to count how many males there are so count if b2 to b61 and my criteria is male in double quotes there you can see the formulas so there I've got my two values great now I need to make a chart of it now when we do a chart of it so we can select the data and we're going to try do a pie chart where's the pie chart there, there that looks like a pie chart there we go now if i select the pie chart like that there we can see a lovely little pie chart you can see we want they, they specify create a, to show the percentage of each gender so we want the percentage of each gender so i'm going to add data labels so we're going to add data labels and what type of data labels do we want i'm going to say uh more options we want the percentages of them so we don't want the value we want the percentages of the data labels there we go they don't say anything else that's fine and we must give it an appropriate chart a title i don't know what they want for appropriate let's look at the question they say uh, should have an appropriate heading so let's call it uh it's the visitors so the visitors uh, gender distribution so there's visitors uh, gender distribution you can have something along those lines as long as it's not the default thing make some sort of suitable heading so we've done that so we've used the formulas we've created a, a, we've got the percentages we've got a pie chart we've got a heading now we need to move it to a document called five my document one so i think i've got it open over here there we go i've got it open over here. there's the resource we must paste below we're going to post over here so I need to paste the chart below there. Now there's some specifications that got you. We must make it in such a way that the spread, if we change the spreadsheet, then the word document must also be updated appropriately. So that's a special type of pasting that we are going to do. So I'm going to come here to my chart. I'm going to write, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy that chart. But when I paste it, I'm not going to just click on paste. I'm going to go paste special. Why paste special? Because I want to paste it in such a way that we paste not just we, we don't, we're not going to just paste it. We're going to paste a link to it. There must it must be linked. It is a chart object, okay? So we want to insert the contents as a office. Uh, so we want to insert it as a chart object, and because there's a link, links create a shortcut. So if we make changes to the original, it should update this one. So if I click on OK. Let's see what happens. So it's going to go boom, boom, boom. And there we go. So there we can see that there's a link. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so that is my, so we can update the link and we can open up the chart. So if I come here 
and I changed some stuff over here now. So let's just first save this. So we're going to save it. Boom. And if I change a couple, let's change it. Let's add some more females. So obviously the distribution's changed a little bit. If I come to the Word document and I right click here and I go update the link, you can see that it's updated already. Okay, so it's linked to the original data. So if I undo all of what I did, and I'll save it, and then I'll come back to my chart. I can then right-click here and go update the link. And so now you can see it's updated. Okay, so that's what they want. That's what they mean by paste special. Okay, so there we go. And we can save that, close that. And then I think we've done all the questions. Is that it? That's it. That's the last little question. All done. 150 marks. Just a reminder that if you are planning your time allocation, remember it's a 180 minutes. It's three hours for 150 marks. So you're looking at just over a minute a mark per question so a 13 mark question should take you about maybe 16 17 minutes um the 53 mark question should take you around about just under an hour so use that as a guide when doing your questions okay so there's the last question and we've done a cat exemplar paper for more videos look at the description for the links to the other videos in this exam paper and leave a like leave a comment subscribe we'd love to hear from you and remember don't do it the long way do it the mister long way.